Hello everyone, and good to have you back. These cubs are providing us with lots of entertainment, and they seem in a very, very playful spirit. Now, I know I told you that these were the Angama Pride, which I do not think they are, and I also told you that they apparently made four wildebeest skills. That I'm also believing was nonsense, because their behavior is certainly not of hungry lions that have just made a kill. These cubs will definitely be eating meat. They're old enough to eat meat, both the different sizes, as well as their mothers, and none of them are full-bellied. So something is not quite right here with regarding that information we got. Or maybe I'll be proved wrong, because I can just see the mother now, the one on the left here quickly. Oh, would you believe it? That is the joy of nature. You just do not know what is going to happen and when. And as I think that that was physically impossible that they wouldn't start snacking on it, she decides to put her head in the pantry and pull out a wildebeest. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. And I'm fascinated that these cubs haven't sniffed it out yet. Maybe they're just waiting for mom. Look, it hasn't even been opened yet. A whole fresh, tasty wildebeest all ready for dinner. And I'm sure as soon as this lioness decides to open it up, these cubs are going to get stuck in. Catch is, is that, oh, here they come. Here comes the other lioness with one cub following it, and that cub is straight in on the wildebeest, and I'm sure it's going to be wrestling, growling, semi-attacking it, as young cubs so often like to do when they come across a fresh kill like this. Look at it. It just did a somersault just about. Let me see if I can't get us into a slightly... <laughs> Let's just give it some time. I've got a feeling the grass is going to get very flattened in that area quite quickly, and then we'll be able to see what's going on. Look at those cubs. They're so happy. I can't believe they haven't sniffed it out yet, to be honest. They're playing around all through this area. Paula, hello, and good to have you with us. You would like to know... How high or what is the mortality rate of lion cubs in the wild? It will depend on luck of the individual pride in the individual area that they may be living in. Some areas have got more threats to lion cubs than others, i.e. higher lion populations. Or you go through some stages where a new coalition of males may be coming into an area wreaking havoc, killing all the cubs in the area, releasing their mothers of the, the responsibility of raising them, and thus allowing the new blood to get into the system. Um, but on average, I'd say probably 30%, 25 to 30% of lion cubs will make it all the way to adulthood. But they are, of course, very varying figures regarding this the bottom line is the you know all cubs be it lion leopard cheetah all face very high risk from other predators as well as even herbivores like buffalo elephants they will kill cubs if they come across them not so sure about elephants now that i've said that but i'm sure it has happened that elephants do come across young cubs get the scent of lion and more often than not elephants will chase adults and if they, of course, not, not quick enough to catch an adult lion, but a young cub may not be so fortunate. Oh, there goes another somersault, almost out of the frame. These cubs seem to be having a wonderful time with their dinner and evidently new toy to start with. I guess they are only tackling a stationary target, but still useful for them to practice latching on what will become their staple diet for years to come. At least certainly during the migration months when they have these multiple, multiple opportunities to cash in on. Now, so far, I've only seen two lioness. I thought there was three earlier, but I think I just got a little bit confused with the long grass. And one may have popped up in a different area that I accounted for another. So apparently these two lioness have got four wildebeest kills here, which is quite something. They've just pulled the one out now that we can just about see. And I'm wondering if the one lioness that's heading off down this lugger now is not going off to enjoy one of the other kills on her own. She's melting into the long grass at about 11 o'clock. It'll actually possibly be quite a nice shot. I love seeing them 
dissolve through the grass. There she goes. Hello to Katie. You would like to know why some lions eat their own cubs. Um, I don't think that is the case. Um, lions that were not fathered by certain males or from a different pied will be killed and possibly eaten by other prides or other coalitions of males. Or if a lioness does come across one of her cubs that has been killed, and the same goes for leopards, they may occasionally feed on them. But they don't kill them themselves. Um, I'm very, very certain that that's not something that happens because then we wouldn't have any lions on the planet if they all killed their own cubs. So I think you may have just, maybe I misread your question got a little bit confused but certainly a lion will not kill its own cubs only that from uh, neighboring so therefore enemy pride or a coalition that did not father them so I hope that clears that up the story about leopard eating their own cubs this poor leopard I've forgotten her name I've forgotten which leopard it was but it was many years ago when I started my career in the Sabi Sands in the southern Sabi Sands came around the corner and had this horrifying sight of a female leopard eating her cub that had been killed by hyenas and I guess it's kind of a possibly a leopard funeral a bit of closure on the matter and I guess some um, sustenance for what can be a very tricky environment for all these animals to live in as successful as predators can be they do, do go through bad patches when their prey is just one step ahead of them and i guess to forego that protein and those nutrients even if it is their own cub would not be something wise to do oh seems like these cubs are not too concerned about eating and are happy to play they will still be nursing on milk, but the bigger cubs will certainly be, the bigger two will certainly be feeding on on meat. They look about four or five months old, and the rough kind of age that they'll start feeding on meat is from about three months of age. Hmm, the rain is pitter pattering, but thankfully it's coming from behind us, and we've got our flaps down protecting the rear of the vehicle. But if it does continue, we may have to batten down the hatches again, which would, be a, which would be a great pity, because these cubs are putting on a great display of how much fun they can have practicing stalking and tackling one another, which will all become so, so useful in future years. Let's have a look at mom quickly now that they've disappeared into the long grass, Ferg. Not that she's in short grass, but we can see that she's beginning to cash in on her meal, a young wildebeest. That would be probably around five, six months old now. It would have been born in January, February down in Tanzania this year. Before making the 400 odd kilometer journey up to where we are here. They've still got a little bit further north to go before they start thinking about turning back south to Tanzania. Okay, very good. We are going to wait for these lions to pop into slightly better view and send you back down to Byron to see what his lions are up to.